Okay. Um, thank you for reminding me. Because there are journalists here, because there are journalists here, I made a statement that the tariff has to go up. I'm reminded that a story will be written that the president dictated the increase in the tariff. No, we apply to ERB. I said the first application, I think we got it wrong. The narrative was wrong. We amplified the tariff increment without explaining that we want to look at the people at the bottom so that they do not suffer a higher tariff because that will increase their costs at the household. That's why I try to touch the issue of a lifeline tariff, lifeline supply, and that lifeline supply will attract based on the application. But the application comes from us talking, isn't it? Deciding as it goes to ERB, so that the people at the bottom do not suffer a further increase in their cost of living. So that application is going to ERB, but I think there is some stakeholder meetings going on now. Am I right, Pierce? And I am following the feedback, and I think the feedback is, is positive. It's being the tariff proposals and the the basis, the arguments are being understood correctly. We did not do it properly. We will look after the people at the bottom. The saloon operator, the saloon operator, the hairdresser, the, what do you call it, barber shop, small shops in the markets in Mandevu, Marapodi, in Chipulukusu, my beloved Chipulukusu, in KMB, we are taking care of those people. Please, sometimes also the media. I was here a few days ago talking to the media owners. We must send the narrative in a contextual way rather than frighten people and say different things because someone has asked you to put soil in the pot. Instead of putting salt, you are putting soil. So, and on that basis, we who are able to afford, I think I said it, we should be able to pay so that we can support investment in the industry so we can generate more, more power and we have a surplus to sell. So thank you for reminding me that I don't decide, ERB decides, but we're asking ERB to review the application by ZESCO favorably. Favorably. I, <laughs> I was about to sit down to thank all of you for coming. <laughs> you see teamwork, eh? You see, it helps, it works. So to thank all of you for coming, for your patience, for your tolerance following the morning situation, and also really, really PDU and PPDF and everybody, ministries, cabinet office, and to thank my colleagues in cabinet for accepting the president's initiative to bring a, some disruption, positive disruption, and the PSCs, I can see many of you are seated here, this is yours. When you use this tool properly, you will be remembered as an effective permanent secretary in your ministry. You will be remembered as an effective minister. We have a job to grow this economy. This economy was deleric. It was in a basket case. We have a job to grow this economy. I listen to a lot of opposition colleagues talk. I choose not to answer them. My decision is to answer them through delivery. That's my decision. <laughs> but you should answer. You, I authorize you to answer them. Because if they are clever, why did the economy decline by minus 2.8%? If they are clever, why did they acquire a debt which led to default? If they were clever. Honestly, these are genuine questions to be asked and answers must be given. It's like you find somebody, you, there's only one well in the country, only one, where the whole country draws water from. And you go in that well and pee in it. Then someone comes and is cleaning the well so that people can have fresh water. And you climb an anthill and you are laughing. No, 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 no. HH has failed. 
Why did you pee in the well? He shouldn't have done that. My effort should have gone to other things, positive things. This is my way of answering the things that get said even in the night. Tick-tock, zero-one, tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. Let us focus on positive work. Partnership, private sector, please guide us. Where you see us going in the wrong, guide us. We want you to succeed. If you succeed, the government succeeds. The people of Zambia succeed. The jobs come. I must also send a message to the domestic private sector. Old business people, friends of mine. Most of you are friends of mine. Think in Kaonde we say to be Kinja. The environment has changed. You have to adjust that the environment is not the way we used to do business 20 years ago. If you don't adjust, you will see new investments will overrun you. You need to find a way of partnering with the new investments that are coming and in joint ventures, which we are encouraging as government, and we are happy to match make. We are happy to bring you together with new investors, which we need. We do not have enough domestic capital. We need to bring capital from everywhere, all over. You are respected because you carried this economy in difficult times, but do not stand in the way of innovation and say, no, we didn't do business like this 20 years ago. Right? Let us work together. Let us not be too negative. I read too much negativity. If we were doing things better, why didn't this economy grow? Why did we go into a debt crisis? If we knew how to run this country, why didn't we create jobs? Why didn't we employ 40,000 teachers when there were no teachers in the classroom? Why didn't we buy desks? Why didn't we put maternity wings in every clinic, Marcel? You are a mother. You were a minister. Why didn't you think of putting maternity wings when you were a minister of health before? Why? <laughs> if you were clever in that government. Why didn't you do that? Look at how many maternity wings we have put now since we came into office. Incredible. In three years, debt restructuring, same time, restoring the rule of law, same time, rebuilding the public sector, same time, increasing CDF, same time, bringing in free education, same time. Why did you guys do this when you were running a country? You know, Rajan, People used to shout at me, my opposition, say, HH cannot be president because he has never been a councillor. He has never been an MP. That really, being a councillor for 20 years or an MP for 20 years, does it make you capable of running a country? I I'm jibing a little bit. I'm jabbing you know, a few people a little bit. Let us be serious. Let us be serious. Three years, a lot has been done. We can do more. I'm the first one to admit. Minister of Technology sitting there. I said to him, Minister Mutati, I want internet in the remotest area. This minister said, Ah, Mr. President, we need five years to do it. I said, I corner man. We can do it. Today, you are all just taking for granted that we have uh, hmm? we have Starlink. We had to reach out to Elon Musk's people to bring them here. One conversation, there's much there. Just one visit at the community house after I made a request, Starlink regional guy came. We were not on the program and we jumped the queue. We were on the program. Six months later, we have Starlink anywhere in this country, you have internet. <laughs> Things don't happen on their own colleagues, but we need a tool to allow us to move quickly. Video, video. That's all. I thought I should say my message, put my message this way. I didn't put it the way you wanted because I thought it may not be effective. I didn't want to read a speech here. No, I want to say what I feel, what I think we should be doing together. 
to change this country. We are now not talking about if it were not for the drought. Please, I didn't cause a drought. I get accusations that, ah, especially my fellow Christians, you go and worship one day, some messaging in the night, you dream, you say, no, HH brought a drought. I didn't bring the drought. It's climate change. It's nature. If it were not for the drought, this year we're going to grow by 4.7%. We are confident with good rains, irrigation, water harvest, to next year we will break the psychological mark, we will get to 6% GDP growth. But we need everyone here and those who are not here to work together. We're spending too much money, I was saying, they're buying drugs from all over the, the world. Why don't we manufacture drugs? Even a Panadol you have to buy from outside. I'm challenging you, colleagues in the business sector. Why are you importing Panados? Just Panados, painkiller. Let's buy, let's manufacture it here. And I'm happy through these two were put. Two days ago, today is Wednesday. On Monday, we formalized a structure to produce the first African country to produce a Corella vaccine here. We want to produce more. And I throw the challenge to you, the business community. Come to the PDU, go to the ministry, go to Zamora, go to, but PDU is here to work with you. Cabinet office is here to work with you. The president is here to sit with you specifically for you to manufacture that drug. Hence, this too, called PDU. Same with fertilizer. People were laughing around. Today we're fertilizer. Best of dressing, almost all we need. Next year, top dressing. Then I'm proud also to tell you through this way of working, in three years, we are now exporting fertilizer to Botswana, to Namibia, ah, 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 to Zimbabwe. To Zimbabwe. In three years, we want to do more. But we need these two kids. If you have anything better, suggest we'll take it on board. Thank you very much.